1,108,000 units. We enjoyed our highest market share ever of 7.7%. Our certified used cars also set a new record at 7,980. We sold the highest level of hybrid vehicles in our history of 1,498, which was made up of Prius, our Prius Compact, as well as Camry Hybrid. And something that I'm extremely proud of in the 16th year of Toyota being represented in Mexico, in late December, we sold our 1 million new Toyota. And the second thing that we're very proud of is uh, a third party does ranking of all manufacturers that are represented in Mexico. And Toyota dealers, again, for several straight years, rank Toyota the number one company to do business with in Mexico. So, wow, we're very pleased with those results. It was a great year in Mexico. And we're also off to a fantastic start in 2019. The market in Mexico remains to be very good. Through the first three months, sales for the entire industry was down about 1.7%, or roughly flat. But I'm very pleased to tell you that our performance was actually up 1.2% in a flat market. So our market share continues to grow to 7.8%, putting us in a, a solid fourth position in the Mexico industry. We expect operations from our investment in water water to start very late this year. The factory is out of the ground. It's actively under construction. And today, we're starting to tool the plant to build most, one of our most important vehicles that we produce is our, uh, our Toyota Tacoma. We're going to remain in this rhythm of growth for the remainder of 2019, and we have a very optimistic view of business here in Mexico. But I want to share with you something that I believe is particularly exciting as we enter the 17th year of selling Toyotas in Mexico. And perhaps many of you have been anticipating this for quite some time, but we feel it's so important in the history of Toyota in Mexico that Bill and myself and Hector want to come down and talk to you ourselves. So in advance of the news, please take a look at this short video. I formally announce that as we enter the 17th year of doing business in Toyota, we are extremely proud and extremely confident in the market in Mexico and our team and our dealers that we believe now is the optimal time to be launching the flagship of Toyota Motor Corporation our Lexus brand. We have much work to do in front of us. This will be a very, very busy two years, but I'm so pleased to tell you that finally we have the confidence in the right product plan and the confidence in the economy that now is the correct time to launch Lexus. For me personally, I'm very pleased. I was one of the fortunate few in Los Angeles at the time that we created the Lexus brand. And I had the opportunity to be with Lexus in the US as we developed that brand almost 30 years ago. And now I have the opportunity to join the start of Lexus in Mexico. Here's a little bit more detail of our plan. As I mentioned, we have much work to do between now and then. We intend to start sales during the fourth quarter of 2021 with our 22 model years. We intend 
to be as we are in North in the U.S. and other markets. We want to set the benchmark in Mexico in terms of the luxury guest experience. We will initially start in major metro areas and it is our intention to select the best, the finest luxury dealer organization that is uh, in the country to set a new level of customer service. We will also be the greatest luxury brand in, in all of Mexico and all the luxury with our advancements in hybrid technology. Our lineup will be complete. Starting in the fourth quarter of 2021, we will be launching our brand with our flagship, the finest vehicle the Toyota Motor Corporation and Lexus knows how to build, the LS500H. We will also include that with the core vehicle, the number one selling sedan in the U.S. with the ES Gas, both the gasoline version as well as the hybrid, the hybrid version. Our SUV lineup will be robust and perhaps one of the biggest offerings in the luxury market in, North, in, in, uh, in Mexico with the introduction of our LX gasoline engine that is the flagship of the, of the Lexus SUVs as well as NX, our compact SUV, the UX, our youthful, sporty SUV, and then the number one selling uh, SUV and luxury vehicle in North America are RX and RX Hybrid. One of the things that I'm most proud of to tell you why now, why is we believe now is the opportune time to launch uh, Lexus in Mexico, and I would really tell you if it's for two reasons. One, our success over the last 16 years with Toyota has given us extreme confidence in doing business in Mexico. We're very proud of the performance we've had in the past. We're very confident in the future. We also designed and re-engineered these products to meet the needs of Mexican luxury consumers. We've re-engineered the fueling systems and the powertrains to be able to have wonderful performance with local fuel characteristics. We've reworked all the suspension systems to give that luxury ride in, in the road conditions that it's around Mexico City and major metros throughout Mexico. We are also going to be introducing our highest technology of safety that we call Lexus Safety Sense that will be adding the best luxury safety features in the industry. And finally, we've re-engineered and re worked all of our multimedia to have embedded navigation, Apple Android, or Apple CarPlay, uh, Android Auto, and yes, because it's so critically important in Mexico, our cars will operate with the weight system. So to wrap it up, again, we are very confident in the market. I will give you a few quick photos of our flagship LS. Our core volume ES250, 350, and 300H. Our flagship SUV, the Lexus LX. Our core model compact luxury SUV, the NX and NX 300H, as well as our sporty and youthful SUV, the UX 250H, and then again the uh, the number one selling luxury vehicle in North America, the RX in both 300 and 400 H versions, 
as well as the standard and long wheelbase. I thank you very much for your time. Again, today, we're very proud to make this announcement. It's so exciting for me to once again be in Texas to Mexico. So it's nice to be able to be here with you today and be able to share the news with you. Obviously, based on the confidence of our Toyota results here that Bob just went through. So it's also an exciting time for us because we're about two weeks away from celebrating our 30th anniversary of Lexus in the United States. So we've had some great success. Um, it's going to be an exciting opportunity to get our Lexus dealers together in just a couple short weeks and be able to celebrate their success and be here today to start our success for Lexus here in Mexico. So what I thought I would do is just take a minute or two and go through kind of the roots of Lexus for those of you that don't know the brand that well. But uh, essentially we launched in the United States in 1989 as a real challenger brand. We started from scratch and with a clear goal to be the, le the best luxury franchise in the business. And we launched with this LS400, which was our flagship back then, and it really helped accelerate our success. And to the point where we've now sold 6.2 million Lexus vehicles in the United States over those 30 years. You know, our mission was simple, and that was to achieve luxury leadership in the U.S. market. We were gonna do it with the finest luxury vehicles, excellence in the guest experience, and the best dealer partnership in the industry. And I'll tell you, I think we made really pretty good progress in all three areas. One of our keys to success is we developed the Lexus Covenant, and we're gonna bring a similar covenant here to Mexico. And I think the, the design of the covenant in launching a new brand was to get the new dealers, their associates, our team members all aligned to a mission of launching great looking and performance vehicles with an industry leading customer experience. Lexus really created a reputation and, and a revolution for unparalleled products and services. We really became a disruptor in the market long before it was kind of an industry standard to come in and disrupt the auto industry. And I think that's just an article, I think, of talking about how Lexus came in and really turned the luxury industry kind of upside down, not only from the products, but really through the way we deliver the customer experience. So we really challenged the old way of thinking when we launched Lexus. You know, we established really um, high-end dealership facilities. We had concierges. We had Lexus loaner vehicles. We developed personal relationships with our guests, and we got to know their families, and we got to know them, and we were able to deliver uh, higher levels of service by really taking that overall philosophy. But today's luxury industry has really changed, and our customers have changed as well. So we'll need to really continue to evolve that, and we'll need to uh, execute that here also in Mexico. But really what sets us apart today is really the individual, uh, individual personalized guest experience, transparency in the viewership process, sales and service, respect for our guest's time, great design, technology that makes their lives easier, and utilizing the sensor, sensory experience uh, of the five senses. A great leader of the luxury brand has been our boss and global CEO, Alfio Toyota. He's really challenged the company to evolve the Lexus brand image and to make sure that we have it correlated with the luxury lifestyle of our guests. So we've uh, really undertaken a brand transformation starting back in 2015 that the Mexican market will be able to take advantage of. Akio has also volunteered to be the master driver of Lexus, which means he gets personally involved in the development of all of our Lexus products and really wants to drive them and 
provide this stamp of approval before any of those Lexus products ever get sold retail. So really, Lexus has turned into a visionary brand that anticipates the need of customers and actively creates the future. So a couple ways we do that in the States. One is we've just uh, really developed a uh, all new, partnered with uh, Marquis Larson, we've developed uh, a 65 foot premium performance yacht that we're gonna sell and kind of uh, correlate to the Lexus brand. I think, again, trying to tie our vehicle products into the luxury lifestyle. We've also had some great success at Lexus Intersect. The first one we opened was in Tokyo, followed by Dubai, and we recently opened the third one in New York City. So if you have a chance next time in New York, New York please go. It's really our lifestyle center. It's the ability for our guests and potential guests to really get a feel for the Lexus luxury lifestyle before they even get behind the wheel of any of our products. And they've been a great success, and we had a nice little media party there for the Lexus media last week for the New York Auto Show. And I think a third great example of that is our partnership with Pebble Beach Resorts. I think you're all aware of Pebble Beach. We basically have our Lexus products up there. Guests of the hotel can take them out for a couple hours, test drive them down 17 mile drive and really get a chance to plug in that lifestyle, that golfing lifestyle with the overall Lexus products. So this is a bit busy, but I think in a, in a one slide, it really tries to capture what the Lexus values of the Lexus brand are all about. I think the foundation of this really shows you the mindset or how Lexus thinks. Our core strengths are in the middle, and that's really superior quality and omotenashi, which is really Japanese hospitality. And at the top are our four Lexus brand differentiators, the things that make Lexus a little bit different in the marketplace. So the four areas that we're going to really concentrate on here as we launch Lexus is to really position Lexus as a luxury lifestyle brand, build the brand around the Lexus brand values, exceed guest, ex exceed guest expectations through personalized attention, and really become the leader in sales, service, and dealer satisfaction. Very consistent with the way we've rolled out Lexus in the States and in other parts of the globe where we've been able to achieve the success. Omotenashi is going to be an important part of that. You know, that Japanese hospitality is something that we'll really work with our initial dealers on in providing that for our guests and really establishing ourselves as an industry leader in the guest experience and the luxury part of the business here in Mexico. Uh, without getting into a lot of details, we'll have a very small but focused organization that will help launch Lexus as part of our TMEX operation and they will get support from not only TMEX, but they'll get support from Lexus USA and our Lexus International offices in TMC. So to wrap up, I can't say how excited we are to be here today to be really talking to you about launching the Lexus brand here in Mexico, our confidence in the future of the luxury automotive industry here in Mexico, and we're very, very excited after today to be here and start our operations here. So thank you for coming to the reality. First of all, let me talk about the luxury industry in which Lexus will compete. As you can see on this slide, last year, the total auto industry in Mexico was a little over 1.4 million units. The luxury market share was 4.6%, which represented 65,000 vehicles excluding fleet sales. 2018, in summary, was the best sales and market share ever in the history of luxury sales in Mexico.
this is the market in which we will compete with Lexus. Luxury sales have increased steadily despite industry fluctuations and market share of industry. The luxury has more than doubled 2.2% to 4.6% 2005 to in to 2018, 4.6%, which I just mentioned. We will offer a full lineup of SUV vehicles, as Bob mentioned, including the entry-level UX hybrid, NX, RX, and, the, and at the top of the line, the LX SUV. ES will be positioned in the near and mid-luxury segments, and of course, we are going to launch our flagship LS500 as our sedan strategy. Lexus startup sales are scheduled to start by the fourth quarter of 2021 with 2022 model year vehicles. We want to become the greenest luxury brand in the country. Mexican customers have shown to us that they're great hybrid customers. So Lexus will come with a very interesting hybrid lineup. From a dealership strategy standpoint, we have planned for Lexus, as I think Bob mentioned, to be established in the three most important markets in Mexico. Mexico City, Guadalajara, and Monterey. Our goal is to start with five dealers and as we mentioned, by the fourth quarter of 2021. Without a doubt, the arrival of the Lexus brand is another example of our commitment to the country. We believe in Mexico, and that is why we continue to look for investment opportunities that allow the Mexican market to be more competitive, offering amazing products. We are starting the second quarter of this 2019, and the future shows us many opportunities in which we are working since now, taking the right steps, preparing the plan to receive Lexus in the Mexican market. This is a crucial moment for us, and we will continue working as a team. It's time to keep pushing hard for this industry to continue growing in Mexico. Let's continue working together. I know I and Lexus to Mexico count on you to keep sharing our great stories as we move forward to a September 2021 Lexus launch date. Lexus in, Me in Mexico is now a reality. We can't wait for our customers in the country to experience amazing. Muchas, muchas gracias.